These are the forms that TV6 News submitted since November 4th, 2014. There were four requests of the functionaries of the ministry. They provided documents listing the names of employees on short-term contract, cabinet-approved advisors at the ministry since 2010. Also, salaries of those contract employees since that same year. The terms of reference for those employees on contract since 2010 and documents showing the relevant qualifications and experience of the short-term contract employees from 2010 to 2014. On December 8, 2014, the Ministry of the Attorney General acknowledged receipt of the request, well over the period stipulated by law, seven days. Recently, the Facebook page Speak Out TNT put up posts about people hired to ensure the Attorney General's good image on social media. The names listed were Sophia Mohan, Chris Arshad Hussein, Naeem Rasal Mohammed, Brian Bade, and James Nanko and others. TV6 News has not been able to confirm their employment. Three months later, after dozens of calls to the Ministry of the Attorney General, the information hasn't been provided. No explanation has been forthcoming. Clearly in contravention of the principles of the Act of Maximum Disclosure, Rapid and Fair Processing. In 1999, then Attorney General Ramesh Maharaj crafted the legislation. He believes there's a deliberate position to hide paper trails. This administration has, has, um, has, has embarked upon a policy of withholding information. Um, this administration has shown both at the parliament level and at the level of the ministries and in its dealings um, with the public that it is not um, liberal in giving information. Mr. Maharaj says the requests that are ignored or denied could only mean one thing. The only reasonable conclusion a reasonable member of the public would come to is that the government believes that it's better to hide the information than to give information to the public. The process to challenge a denied request is to write the office of the Ombudsman. Last year, one famous case was that of the JCC versus the Minister of Planning, which went straight to the High Court. After being denied, the JCC had its requests for legal advice provided to the Ministry, upheld by Justice Frank C. Posad. In his judgment, he said, it must always be in the public interest to ensure that the activities and projects undertaken by government are transparent and all attempts should be made so as to dispel any perception of the misappropriation of public funds and or financial impropriety. Over the last two weeks, posts on Facebook show that persons purporting to represent the AG have tried to whip up pro-government votes in opinion polls such as the TV6 People Meter. We have not been able to reach Mr. Ram Logan to verify that the messages came from his phone number. Employment of workers paid by the state and government ministries not on the public service payroll is nothing new. It has gone on under successive governments. Jabari Fraser, TV6 News.